Hey you guys, I am so excited to show you guys this brand, brand new palette from Melt. It just launched yesterday, probably by the time I uploaded, it would be yesterday. So it launched on the 6th and this is called the Melt Impulsive Pressed Pigment Palette. This is the box that it came in, like has like collage, like all the pictures of the Melt fam as they put it. And this retails for $65. I do not think it's limited edition. I didn't see the word limited edition anywhere. So I don't think it is. And it says, oh, since it is a pressed pigment palette, it does have ingredients. I think it says, warning, go get a pressed, wait, go get a pressed pigment contains ingredients that are not approved by the FDA and melt. For use on the eyes so I think there's just one eyeshadow that is a pressed pigment the rest can be used on the eyes and oh wait it says apply on face and around eyes as desired I I did not read this fine print when I was testing on this palette because there are some shades that would make an ideal highlighter and I really wish I just tried it on the my cheeks because I regret it. I, I really should have read it. But anyways, the, the palette is made in USA and you get, it's a big palette guys. You have 18 shades in it and the weight is 20 grams, 20.2, you could just round it to 20 grams of product. So roughly you kind of get one gram in each pan, which is, I would not consider that a full size. 1.5 grams of product, I would consider that a full size. So one gram, again, it's not a mini, obviously but it's somewhere in between it's like a moderately sized uh, eyeshadow so 18 grams and it just says melt here and it has a list of ingredients at the back and by the way this palette is not vegan out of the 18 shades two eyeshadows are non-vegan i don't remember what those shades are so the information is on mel's website i did not see that on sephora's website so in case you want to know curious to know which two shades are non-vegan definitely check out Mel's that information about Mel's website so this is the palette has like a preview of the shades that you get in from the front and also in the back and what else um, it says just says it says you're impulsive and like it I really like the font it's really pretty like when you log on to some secure website it would ask you that if you're not a robot, you have to enter some weirdly font, like font styled, font style, style, right? Font style. And it looks like that, but I really like it. <laughs> and then when you open it, this is a $65 palette. It's, it's really pretty, as you can see, very beautiful. Honestly, it had, this palette has a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, opportunity to create various like really 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 different looks so yeah uh, but this is the only $65 palette that I've bought that does not come with a mirror I don't know I just feel they it's a really heavy palette to be honest to begin with it's really heavy they could have fit a mirror even Kat Von D with her palettes it's like weirdly shaped palettes I mean they, it's creative I'm, I'm, I'm not putting it in the negative light but it's they, are, they have weird, you know, shape, uh, her palettes. Anyways, she just definitely tries to put in a mirror somewhere. In like in a little corner, you'd find a mirror somewhere. But I don't know, I really feel $65. There should have been a mirror. And yeah, it's a very heavy palette, guys. And um, I honestly thought when they called it impulsive and it kind of looked like trios, I thought that these were detachable trios. So impulsively, the consumer can just detach a trio from the entire palette and take it away with you for trial or whatnot. But no, it's not detachable. It's just one big palette. It's just one big palette. You cannot take anything away. And uh, something interesting that I found, do you see that step? So... On either side there's the step that way this trio does not come the these trio of eyeshadows does not come in contact with its counterpart on the other side so this has this little step so this is like upstairs and on this side it's downstairs as you can see so that way these eyeshadows don't come in contact with this so yeah and also in the center the spine of it it's it's like a book right so the spine of the book has this collage as well that you see in the 
box um what else let's just get swatching it oh i i also have the um gemini palette the 27 palette i don't think oh i also have the smoke sessions palette but i don't know if there are any dupes at all in that in that but yeah anyways i have that to just just casually swatch and see along with you guys because even i haven't like swatched and just uh, gone into it and seen if if we have really have dupes or not anyways let's get swatching the first shade on this side i'm just starting with this side so this is 2012 perhaps that's the year that they started their brand the company uh, it's a mustard shade as you can see it doesn't really pop pop but on my skin tone these shades are a little difficult um, so I would have to really pack it. This is the shade I have on here. It's like so worn out. I've had this look for easily seven hours now. But yeah. But it blends beautifully. It blends as you apply it. No problem at all. Then that next shade in that trio is a beautiful, just vibrant brick orangish red, guys. So beautiful. Look at that. Look how smooth that swatch it. It's so pigmented. Again, blends like a dream. Then Go Getter is that shade, which is that pinkish reddish coral shade. It's a beautiful. It's not a red at all for sure. It's more of a. It's definitely a coral shade. Beautiful guys. So so pretty. And the the, the consistency on this is slightly thinner. So. Definitely use your finger and absolutely you must use like a sticky base guys. Otherwise, it's going to look sheer And then so that is that trio those three shades that you see on top and then let's do the center one It's big dream which is a much darker version of this This is much um, like a mid-tone color and this is much like a it's not a very dark color but it's like on the medium dark and as you can see it's like deepening and then CEO is a this shade is slightly crumbly as you can see but again if you use a sticky base and if you use your finger it goes on really smoothly so you can see it's pretty um, metallic it really reflects it catches the light beautifully it's like a deep bronze color but it's you can definitely see the brown tone in it. It's not like a blackened color. And then this is Boss Lady. It's like a purple shade. Boss Lady is the shade I have in the lower lash line and also in the outer V that you see. And then let's do the bottom. Hang on, my fingers are so sweaty. That's why that swatch didn't really turn out well. But it, this again blends beautifully, blends as you apply your eyeshadow. You don't even need to blend it. All you have to do is just apply your eyeshadow. Again, the mattes again are beautiful. So next we are going to the green trio. Now I will say the greens and all the other mattes in the eyeshadow palette, I feel they blend beautifully. So if you just use the matte eyeshadow over a sticky base they kind of obviously they deepen so i would suggest like setting your eyeshadow base with a setting powder or whatever you want to set it with and use it and that way the eyeshadows will not darken and it won't look oxidized these shadows really still look true to color this one slightly is oxidizing but this one on my eyes it's now oxidized i had it here it now it is oxidized but when i first applied it it stayed really vibrant it stayed this green it stayed exactly true to what you see in the in the pan for hours but it started oxidizing after a few hours so i don't set my eyeshadow primer with any kind of product so probably that's why i started to oxidize but if you set it i think you should be good again blends beautifully guys and this is the darker green oh such a pretty color again blends like a dream beautiful this is the shade i have in the lower lash line also in the outer v and then finally this is just like a caramel brown this color it's a matte as well when i swatch it i don't see any 
kick up when I put my finger in it and I, when I'm picking up the product my fingertips and applying I don't see a lot of kick up but when I dip my brush in there is kick up I do see some kick up but it's not it's not crazy but there is definitely kick up but not when I swatch it or use my finger it's a little weird but anyways uh, the next side is more like muted and like romantic kind of a side and here's where you have those iridescent shades. These two shades are just, just your reg this and this are just your regular metallic shades. But on this side, there are several mauve shades. This first column that you see, they're all mauves. This, this, and this. They're all kind of mauve shades. And all three of them are kind of, uh, they're sheer. They don't have a lot of chunky glitter, but... They're kind of, they have this glow to them, kind of iridescence. These were the shades when I touched and applied on my skin. I thought the consistency feels like a highlighter. It's like kind of iridescence. It has a glow, but the consistency is not like dense, like an eyeshadow. So um, again, but when you use this over an eyeshadow base or like a sticky base, it just goes on really well. This first, wait, hang on. I thought I'll separate it. My other arm. The first shade what I'm going to show you guys is the one I have on the center of my eyelids. This pink that you see, which is pretty vibrant, right? You can tell that it's pink, so the color is not compromised, although it's muted. But like I said, it's like a, it has this glow look. Very, very reminiscent of a highlighter, guys. That's why if I had read the fine print, I would have definitely tried it out as a highlighter because it is so, it has that glow iridescence to it. Do you see that? It's beautiful. It's just, it's, it's definitely a different kind of a finish. It's soft, but still it's really pretty. Now this is like a deeper rose shade that is like a pink to peach kind of a color this is like a rose shade with some silver glitters this is again a duochrome this too in a way it's a duochrome but it just looks kind of baby pink on my skin tone but this one again you can see it's a duochrome it has like a rose shift to a silver kind of a shift again with the finger it looks really good so um definitely use a sticky base guys because um it, they kind of come out sheer and then this third shade is actually again a duochrome. It kind of has this, um, I don't know what to call this base. Base is kind of on the reddish to green. You know those colors that have that reddish base, reddish or a rose toned base and the glitter is green. So that is actually, this shade is really vibrant that is a shade i have as my inner corner highlight on both actually i've mixed these two shades as my inner corner highlighter and this is really it pops on my skin tone it's a beautiful shade so that is the first trio that you see you'd be able to see the duochrome this like a rose shade and then there's that the sh the glitters on this shade is more like a green green and silver and this is just a vibrant green so next, this is the trio that I just showed you guys, this top. And let's do this. This is another, this is a lavender shade, you guys. This is a straight up lavender shade. Again, this one has that iridescence and it is also thin. The consistency is thin and also has iridescence. The iridescence is like gold. So it has like a very muted lavender um base with a gold shimmers it has gold shimmers it again it looks it's like a perfect highlighter kind of consistency also you can use it also on the eyes as, as well the next is like a blue kind of this is it, it actually applies so smoothly just one swipe look at that just one swipe it's a blue color and then we have a bluish purple which is the shade I have on my eyes actually. This halo look that I have here on either side of the this pink that I have on scent on either sides, I have this one, this bluish purple. They are kind of blue, but there is a difference. I wish it was more different though, these two together. 
they are so this may be more lighter would have been better because this is a medium dark blue and this is also like a medium dark blue bluish purple I wish this was like a tonally may maybe much lighter or much darker something like that so this trio is the one that I just swatched these this lavender and then blue and then this uh, bluish purple now I think this is again the last one we'll have to do so the final one is also kind of like a taupe like a taupe and then it also has this mauve to gold mauve color with gold this reminds me of this highlighter by lime crime i think it's the mermaid palette not the mermaid palette the unicorns palette yes mermaid palette is the one i hate <laughs> the unicorns palette is the one i love from um lime crime the first one is blossoms palette the, the number two palette from uh lime crime highlights palette that i love is the unicorn palette there is a shade exactly like this in there it's like a mauve uh, I, a mauve highlighter with gold glitters in it this is the exact same like a taupe mauve color with some gold glitters in it again ideal for as a highlighter these three shades this 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 have that iridescence the glowy finish and then this is like a purple plum purple kind of a finish this is again a uh, just like a metallic pro uh eyeshadow just like these two this is like more meta this 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 and this they all have the same formula goes on really smooth and then finally we have a gunmetal kind of a eyeshadow this and this maybe kind of look the same but this is more of just like a blackened gunmetal color. And this is obviously, as you can see, is so much warmer when you compare to this. They, they are very, very different. So those are all the shadows, guys. So there are six trios. And honestly, there's <laughs> some of the eyeshadows are really unique. They just are not like uh, your straight out foil, just consi thicker consistency, just popping on your eyelids but you can make it pop like i said this pink just pops on my eyelid i used to stay like uh the nyx glitter glue on my eyes to use it on just on my eyelid so the look on this eyes is i have this purple the in inner one third and the outer and one third of my eyelid and the center you can make out that this is the coral shade and on this side just the blue this blue purple blue on either sides of the one third of the eyelid and the center i have the pink and yeah that's pretty much my eye look all in all i am happy with this palette to be honest i probably might not have liked these iridescent ones but they really have a glow to them these three especially have a glow to them and they really work with a sticky base on the eyes and i'm very very excited to see how they look on the cheeks because they seem to have a great highlighter formula to be honest um what else i think that's all i wanted to okay guys let's look at dupes i have possible dupes let's look at the gemini palette i just feel there's there is a mustard shade here very similar let's just swatch that was it mustard shade and then there are two stunning greens here hang on i need to swatch rub the swatches off completely let's swatch that green it's a green and then there are two greens okay those are the two greens and then let's swatch the green from this one there are two greens again from here okay both are actually mid medium dark shades and both the shades from the gemini palette are dark shades so yeah there's that they are not close at all these two are really really dark these two are like medium dark shades so let's watch 
some there are some orangey shades here in the 27 palette there are no mauve oh yeah there's a really really bright orange here let's swatch the two orangish shades here they're just one and two Both are kind of different, as you can see from the orange from the 27 palette is much more vibrant. These two are more red tones and more muted. So these two from the impulsive palette is definitely different. They're not going to make a vast difference on the eyes. I do feel that. But, you know, technically speaking, they are different shades. And then I got reminded of two shades from their stacks this is these two shades this is from the she's in parties or something like that these two shades i wanted to show that and also maybe this shade the, there's a green right from the radioactive stack I mean, let's just swatch that here it's just a lime green nowhere it's not at all similar to the two greens from the impulsive palette so let's just swatch that swatch these two this is from the she's in the party snack snack stack and then this is a shade that i love to death this is that shade the dark shade it just blends like a dream there is a shade very similar to that here just called boss lady this is boss lady which is just more purple than this uh, she's in the parties this shade is more much darker and this is more purple as you can see both blend like a dream and then there's also the shade called morning after which i thought might be similar to this but you can see morning after is more purple and this is more reddish so yeah what else i don't think there's any other dupes that from melt specifically because you can find dupes with other brands but not at least my collection of melt i don't have any other dupes to be honest there is maybe a gunmetal stack maybe here let's swatch that there is a, like a deeper gunmetal here but that is not at all similar to that Let's see if I have the other gunmetal shade because that may be similar to this. But I don't think I have it with me. I'm sorry, guys. I don't have it with me right now. At least it's somewhere lost in my collection, but I don't. So um, is there possible dupes? I feel the closest dupes that we have is for the... Hang on. Let me just show it to you in the palette. This matte shade and the orangey shades this and this and this so the rest are kind of definitely different but these three i feel this shade these two shade probably might look very similar to this on the eyes especially when you blend it with other colors and then these two are just so different from this two and then yeah these two are also different the metallic shades while but the mat the mattes these two are pretty kind of the same they are different technically but they are kind of the same so hopefully these comparisons and possible dupes helped you guys so yeah so we have come to the end of this video you guys hope you guys found this video useful hope the possible close dupes helped you f make a decision whether to get the melt impulsive palette or not and thank you so so much for staying till this end of this video i truly truly appreciate it please subscribe and if you like watching this video please give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys very soon bye, -bye.